Hello, this is Tyler Beamer from Haywood Community College. The purpose of this instructional video is to show students how to find percentiles um, using Microsoft Excel. I'm going to be working off of a data set that has female pulse rates. Um, you can see the data here. I've got uh, ages matched with pulse of the different participants in this study and then what I've done is I have essentially copied the pulse rates over and then sorted that data. Um, I've also created a uh, histogram and frequency distribution here um, for the data and I have also found the mean, median, mode, standard deviation using the data analysis tool pack. Um, so what I want to show now is how to find different percentiles for this particular data. Um, so let's say that we wanted to find the percentile of a pulse rate of 96 based off of the data that we have. So to do that, um, select the cell that you're going to work on, hit equals, start typing in percent, and you will see the four options that we have for percentiles. Um, if I want to find the actual percentile of a particular piece of data in a data set, um, then I would want to use the percent rank function. Um, and we're going to use the percent rank dot exc, um, which basically excludes percentile 0 and 1. Um, you know, in, in real life, in most cases, um, we don't use the 100th percentile. Um, or the zero percentile, um, you know, normally the highest is 99.9 .9 percentile. Um, you know, kind of think about it this way, it's kind of hard to be better than yourself at something. So that's why we don't normally get to 100%. So I'm going to use that to be consistent. Um, so I'm going to double click on that function. Okay, it's going to ask me for the array, which is the data. So I just highlight the data. doesn't matter if the data is sorted or not. Um, obviously if you're going to do this by hand you would want to sort the data um, but of course we're using Excel to help us out okay so got our array of data comma um, and then X is the specific data point that you're trying to find the percentile of so in this case I said I wanted to find the percentile of a pulse rate of 96 so I find 96 in my data, select it. Having the data sorted um, obviously is helpful to finding that specific data point. Um, next is significance. It's in brackets. Um, it's basically the sig figures that you want, significant figures. Um, we can leave that blank if we would prefer um, and let Excel essentially use the um, in-house functions that it has preset in terms of significant digits. Um, so then I'm going to leave that blank in the parentheses, hit enter, and there we go. So in this data set, a pulse rate of 96 would be in the 87.8 percentile. Um, basically, it's uh, higher than 87.8 percent of the data. Um, and roughly 12%, 13% of the data would be above it. Okay. All right. So that's um, one function we would use for percentiles in Excel. Um, another function that you would want to use, so if we hit enter or equals, I'll start typing in the word percent, is the percentile um, dot exc once again excluding zero and one um, and this is um, great for essentially calculating um, what score or what data point would be at a specific percentile mark so let's say we wanted to find the 20th percentile of this data set you know what pulse rate would be at the 20th percentile essentially okay so let's double click on that um, function. Once again, it's asking us for our array, and we can highlight the data. Doesn't have to be sorted. Okay. And then 
comma and it's asking us for K so it's asking us for the percentile that we're looking for so I said we're looking for the 20th percentile so I'm going to put in 0.20 okay, and enter and we get 68 so essentially a pulse rate of 68 would be at the 20th percentile um, so 20 percent of the pulses in this list are below that value and 80 percent of the pulses are above it um, all right so that's a really helpful um, Excel function that you can use in, in the course um, or if you're analyzing any type of data um, you know especially if you have a large data set you know doing this manually can be very cumbersome so all right hope this helps um, have a great day